kicking off a new work week in my life vlog. I figured I'd show you guys my outfit of the day super quickly before I head out the door. Hoops are from Amazon, black top is from H&M, pants are from Princess Polly, and then I just have on some Vans until I get to the office. You guys know the drill, I keep heels in my desk, but that is today's fit. I'm about to pack up my bag, make coffee, and head out the door. I'm sure you guys can tell from the lighting behind me, but it is much later now. I got home from work like an hour ago and then I took a shower, blue dried my hair. I have been trying to use the straightening brush on the Dyson and honestly, I don't know if it's my length that's the issue or the way that I'm using it. I think it's probably 50-50. I just feel like the Dyson Airwrap works so much better on longer hair, which I guess I've seen some TikToks about that, but I feel like I see more often than that TikToks of people with like curly short hair and it just, like, is it my haircut? Why doesn't my hair look the same way? Maybe it's because my hair is thinner, but I don't, it doesn't matter. Actually, no, last thing I'm going to say on the Dyson Airwrap train of things, I was in the camp of thinking that the Revlon One Step was significantly better than not significantly better, but just like it made more sense for me than the Dyson Airwrap. And I, the first like two, three months I had it, it worked amazing. I only used it when my hair was like honestly 90% dry, low heat, heat protectant every time. That's something I've always been so uptight about. And I even ran it by my hairdresser because I had started seeing all the TikToks of them like exploding and causing a ton of damage. But my hair honestly felt totally fine. My hairdresser agreed, didn't think anything of it. Like another 60 days goes by and my hair is fried from this shit. I don't know what possibly switched, but like this little baby hair right here, this is never something that I have cut. This is not new hair. This is like completely burned off and it's like the most sad thing. I have all of this like static up here from it. My camera stopped recording, but if you think that you are immune to the Revlon one step damage. You are likely not because I thought I was immune as well. Point of that being, it's 8 p.m., a little bit past 8 p.m. actually. I'm sure you guys can tell. I feel like I have just zero brain cells left for the day. I am so burnt out for really no reason. Like I know I've been working really hard the past couple of weeks, but I feel like I've had days off or, you know, like weekends where I didn't really do much and I am just like completely completely burnt um i have an entire fridge worth of hello fresh meals which they're actually sponsoring this week's video and i was planning on making one tonight but i just like i don't have the capacity for it so i ended up uber eating some food and i think i'm gonna take the rest of the night to enjoy that like have a little self-care moment and honestly just go to bed early because i feel like that's what i need but this clip is much longer than intended because of my hair ranting i have to keep refilming it too because i keep like stuttering over my words i'm so tired so gonna wrap up today's portion of the vlog here but i'll check in with you guys in the morning it is wednesday morning a little bit before 8 a.m i just parked outside of work and i'm about to head in for the day but wanted to kick off today's portion of the vlog it is super rainy and gross outside as you can maybe see through the windows i can't tell but super gloomy day gonna make the most of it let's get it
work. It was a super busy and chaotic day in the office. Definitely more jam-packed than I thought it would be, but got everything done that needed to get done and feeling good about that. I went and checked my mail on the way back, which I haven't done in a while. Does anybody else's moms just send them like cards for every holiday still? It's so cute. Every single holiday without fail, good old Carrie comes in clutch and she always sends a gift card of some sort because I feel like I won't let my parents do anything else for me at this point. Like I'm really uncomfortable receiving any like financial help or like gifting from them. Like I just feel too old for it. Um, so my mom like sends me these little gift cards for every holiday and she said, LOL, scratch and sniff the flowers. And they do indeed smell like flowers. Unfortunately, my association with floral is pollen. So I smelled it and I was like, oh my God, it smells like pollen. And then I realized that most people just enjoy that scent as like spring florals. And for me, I'm like, ooh, where's my Zyrtec? Um, so this was a cute little surprise. And then I also came home to a package from Lucy in the Sky, which never ordered from them. But every time I'm searching for some sort of party attire dress, really no matter what the theme is, I feel like they always pop up in my suggestions on Google. So I ordered a dress for my birthday party that's coming up. My friend Sam and I are having a joint birthday party and decided to make it disco cowboy themed. And I ordered a ton of sequin pants. Originally, I was thinking I'd do this like cute little kind of bralette, bra, corset top moment with some form of sequin shiny pants. And the amount of outfit combinations I tried on with the corset top and probably six different types of sequin pants and just none of them even looked somewhat flattering was astonishing, disturbing, humbling, the whole nine yards. So we had to start from scratch. And I found this dress online. They honestly had so many options that I would have loved to order from this boutique, but their return policy is only store credit. So I didn't want to order like seven dresses in multiple sizes, but this is what I picked up. Completely different vibe than what I was originally going for, but we just had to, we had to switch it up. I grabbed a size medium because it said that the model was always photographed in a small and the model was definitely smaller than me, but not significantly smaller than me it seemed like everything was so incredibly short on the website that i just wanted to size up because i just want to feel comfortable like moving and dancing around in it so we'll see how it looks on i was hoping it was more of like a pearl texture actually on camera this is showing up kind of fun but it's like this open oh i'm so glad i did not get a size smaller than this it's showing up way more reflective on camera than it is in real life but honestly i'm okay with that because i'm more concerned about photos from the night than how it actually looks in the moment which sounds a little bit shallow but i am such a photo person like at any event i honestly don't even post them 99 percent of the time i just really really love having photos from like all of my memories and just small things with friends like it doesn't even have to be that we're going out but just like if everybody's hanging out in an apartment like i love getting photos of that so my friend Sam and I actually hired a photographer for the event as well. She's a friend of mine and is coming in for the event, which I'm so excited for. She just gets the vibe. Um, I feel like I've talked about her on my channel before because we got coffee like probably two years ago. It was like, I can't remember if it was pre-pandemic or right when the pandemic hit. I feel like it was during the pandemic, um, but her name's Katie. I'll leave her Instagram link down below. I believe she's based in Ohio currently, but is obviously willing to travel for things. So I'll leave her Instagram link down below if anybody's looking for a photographer, but I feel like this could actually be such a moment. It's like a long sleeve, ruched sleeves, ruched back. The back is completely open and ties up here, which I really like. I feel like it makes it a little bit more fun than just like a fully long sleeve dress. And the sizing might work. It feels like it's a somewhat stretchy material. With my original outfit idea, I was just gonna wear a pair of heels that I already have because the flare from the pants would honestly cover them and they're already broken in. It'd be comfortable to wear all night. But I feel like with this, a pair of like white cowboy boots and a light pink iridescent hat would be a vibe. I'm feeling more optimistic about this than I originally was, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna try that on in a second and then it change into some workout clothes. I have a workout class in a little over like an hour and a half, so I'm also gonna eat a quick snack as well. And then I feel like you guys can see behind me. I didn't really think that through when setting up this shot, but the kitchen is quite messy. I have a ton of clothes from Princess Polly back there because I'm doing a haul with them coming up on my channel. And then just like lived in mess from 
eating dinner and just like living in the apartment so i'm gonna try to fix that in the next like hour or so whatever i don't get to i'll do after the gym but i'll probably check in with you guys after that got back from my workout class hopped in the shower really quick and i'm about to make dinner and i wanted to say a massive shout out to hellofresh for sponsoring this week's video so my box actually got delivered a couple of days ago so i've already made two of these meals but what i had in my box this week was a chicken with roasted potatoes and green beans a crispy kicken cayenne chicken meal as well and then a caramelized onion chicken with a salad so i'm actually going to be making this chicken potato green bean vibe today. Getting a home cooked meal on the table is something worth celebrating and HelloFresh makes that so achievable with pre-portioned ingredients that help cut meal prep time and cut back on trips to the grocery store. With HelloFresh, produce gets from the farm to your doorstep in under a week for peak freshness. It helps you save time and stress. I love using my leftovers for lunch the next day, which is what I'm planning to do with the meal that you guys are seeing now. As you can see, it's super quick and easy. They offer a ton of variety in meals for 20 minute meals easy cleanup, low prep options, and HelloFresh helps cut down your food waste by at least 25% compared to a traditional grocery shopping. So if you guys are interested in checking HelloFresh out, I will leave a link down below and you can use the code amyroush 16 for 16 free meals and three gifts. So again, I'll have all of that linked in the description box down below. Thank you so much HelloFresh for partnering with me on this week's video. super quick outfit of the day necklace is from goryana brown top is from princess polly black dress pants are from express and then i'm wearing the little loafers from lucky again very basic outfit not entirely sure if it's working but we're going for it today another super busy day at work i ended up coming home like 15 20 minutes earlier than i normally do just because i was super tired and there's a couple things i need to do still but i can just do them later tonight like they weren't time sensitive and i just needed to like take a break get some fresh air step outside even like walking to and from the metro is helpful um so it's a little bit before five now i think i'm gonna make a pretty big snack like somewhere between a snack and a meal because i didn't really eat lunch today like I kind of picked up my lunch just because I wasn't super hungry at the moment but now I'm pretty hungry and I have a workout class at seven so definitely want to get a couple more calories in my system before I run otherwise I just like know myself I'll feel super faint and dizzy and that's no good so gonna do that then besides working out that's really all I have to do tonight which is nice I had a super productive night last night editing portions of this vlog in another video that I needed to submit for approval so that felt good and I can kind of relax a little bit more tonight knowing that so that is the plan the Thursday night update if you will so let's do it mm -hmm. 